Greetings are plain. So today's the day I've been waiting on. I want to try this out. It is the Melanin Hair Care Multi-Use Leave-In Conditioner. Honey, my nails are a mess because of this manic panic. Woo! I love my color. Don't like the bleach. This is a multi-use softening leave-in conditioner. I believe she said you can use it as a deep treatment, a leave-in, a detangler, co-wash if you want to. I don't know what all the ways you can officially use it, but the way I'm going to try it in this video is as a deep treatment and also as a leave-in. I'm really excited about this video. Let's go ahead and get this show started. Boom! Hey, child. All right, so if you're not familiar with this, this is created by Whitney, all of our faves who have been down with the OG YouTube natural movement. Natural 85 is her channel's name, and she is a treasure to all natural girls everywhere. She taught so many of us so much about our hair. So when she came out with this company, I was more than willing to go ahead and support her. Now, as far as ingredients goes, to those who follow Curly Girl Method and all that, you no know, sulfates, parabens, silicone, mineral oil, phthalates, or formaldehydes, which is amazing. The price point, it, well, it's really not that bad because this is a 16 fluid ounce bottle and so it was $18.99. That's really not bad. What gets bad is the shipping. Shipping is $10. I'm not necessarily a fan of that, but at the same time, I am someone that if it is quality and it is beneficial, I will pay for it without a problem. So I did not mind paying for this just because I had such a good experience with the elongating twist and crank. Now, how I'm going to use it today, I'm going to try it as a deep treatment and also as a leave-in. I... And it's just so weird because usually if you're using something as a conditioner or deep treatment, you're supposed to rinse it out. But this is saying you can use it as a leave-in. So it's just kind of like, oh, girl, what am I supposed to do? We're going to figure something out. So I'm going to go ahead and wash my hair. I really hate to do it. Pause. This is a follow-up to the Talia Wajid video that I just recently posted. This is day three hair. I am so mad I accidentally left that gel in my carry-on. TSA threw my bottle of gel away. So how much do I love that gel? I'm getting ready to go buy another one. That's how much I love Talia Wajid. And so I'm hoping I love this just as much as well. So let me go ahead and shampoo my hair. You see how I just segue right on into that? Honey, she stays on it. So I'm going to go ahead and wash my hair and come back. And we're going to start conditioning. And we're back. So don't mind my gloves. I used a semi-permanent dye, which means it bleeds when I shampoo. So I gotta put gloves on or else my fingers will be red. Oh, that hurt. Mm, it kind of cool little smell. Wait a minute, I kind of smell this rub of this glove. Wait a minute. Do it got kind of like a mint tint to it? The smell is very mild, very fresh, but it smells like it has like mint. Or eucalyptus in here somewhere. Let me check these ingredients. Child, I don't see it, but I'm also just skimming through because at the end of the day, child, we just want to know if it works. But the smell is good. I can't feel it like that. Dang it. Now my hand gonna be red. Very creamy. Um, a little bit on the lightweight side. Feels really good on my hair so far. I don't know how much to use. And I know sometimes I can be heavy handed. It's got a cooling effect. Like I really want to say it's like some type of spearmint or something in here. It is spearmint. Child, I know I wasn't crazy. Feels very light on my hair. Like it feels very slippery, but it's very lightweight in a way that it kind of well, I can't judge it too soon. I'm going I'm to let it do its thing before I get to talking. But just know it feels very lightweight on the hair. That ain't bad. It don't mean it's ineffective. It just is very light. Very light. I like my... If I was using it as a deep conditioner, I want it to be a little thicker than that. Mm -hmm. But I, I'll hold my little tongue or whatever. It smells good. It feels good. It got a cooling effect on my head from the spearmint. Um... Yeah, that's all I can really say. Let me let this sit for a while because this is just, it's throwing me off. Why I feel like I need to, okay, so back in the day, they used to have the Wrigley's gum, like the double mint and spearmint. That's what this smell is reminding me of. Like, ooh, like I want some gum. It's definitely still sitting on my hair, so I'm going to put the cap on to let it do its thing. Y'all, I'm still out of my big caps. I'll be back at the store picking some up because honestly, they way more convenient than this little skeet mess. 
So I'm going to let this sit for 30 minutes and I will be back. It is really cooling. Like, babe, I don't know what it was, but something about these ears. It got on my ears and I can feel it. I can feel it. It's like, like, just right on the ears, just right there. I'll be back. All right. So I got to be honest. I can't do nothing but shoot it to you straight. So I have allowed this to sit on my hair for over 30 minutes. It has amazing slip. Like the slip is next level crazy. Um, and it actually gave my hair a really beautiful shine. But as far as moisture goes, for me and my personal taste, it is lacking. If I were to rank it between light, medium, and heavy, and like an intensive moisture, this would definitely be a medium dose of moisture, which is not a bad thing. It's just up to your personal preference. I have underneath this uh, red color, Y'all know I have the Honey Blind by Clairol Textures and Tones. Now the thing about having colored hair is you have to stay on top of your moisture. And so for me, I don't want medium, I don't want light, I really kinda don't even want heavy. I like intensive moisture. Now, to be fair, before I recorded this, I looked at Whitney's Natural 85's, her video introducing this on her YouTube page. She said this has seven uses. It can be a pre-poo, a styler, a conditioner, a deep treatment, a detangler, a refresher, and something else. I, I forgot the other one, but she did say this can be a deep conditioner. I do not find that this is intensive enough to be a deep conditioner. I think it would be amazing as a rinse out and it's a bomb leave in, but as a deep conditioner, I would not gravitate towards this. I definitely can understand why she said this is a pre pool because if you were to put this on before shampooing, it really gives your hair a lot of slip. So if your hair is tangled or matted or anything like that before you shampoo, this would help. It definitely is a refresher because it got that light to medium dose of moisture. I don't think I would use this as a styler just because I, I like heavier crunches and stuff like that so this this wouldn't be that um, it also is not a deep treatment for me because it's not as moisturizing enough um, I would use it as the refresher the pre pool the leave in and maybe even a rinse out would I buy it again flat out to be quite honest with you I probably wouldn't because of the price point yes you are getting 16 fluid ounces and it's $18.99 but it's that $10 shipping that I just cannot justify and once this goes to the stores and it's on the shelf which I'm believing for her for then maybe I'll gravitate gravitate towards it but $30 on a leave-in although I don't mind investing in quality and this is quality I have quality products already that are not at this price point that really get the job done that I am in love with. I found more affordable um, things that have great ingredients. Also, another thing I want to say is consistency. It is very much so on like a thinner type of consistency. And so what I found myself doing was over applying to make up for the fact that it's not as creamy as I would like it to be. Like I want it to be a thicker cream. That's not bad on the company's part. It's just my personal preference. So overall, I like this product. Would I buy it again? Not why it ain't in stores. I'm not paying $10 shipping no more. I did it to support sis. I love sis, but sis not getting $30 for another product. I do think it's a good product. I would encourage you to try it out at least once. See how you like it. And if you have tried it, let me know down in the comments what you think about it. If you haven't, let me know if you're thinking about getting it. I like it, but at the same time, like I said, it's not the moisture level that I prefer. I just prefer heavy power pack moisture. This is more so like a gentle moisture. Like if it was an animal, it would be a pretty little bunny baby. I want that Lion King of the Jungle type moisture. Okay, you understand what I'm saying? That's what I'm looking for because I'm color and these roots, baby, she needs to be tame. And I need that heavy moisture to really get it to just kind of, you know, play nice with the rest of my hair. So with that being said, that's all I got to say. I like it. I would recommend it if you were interested in it. But if you're not, I can totally understand why. Um, would I purchase it again? Not right now. I need this to go to the store because, honey, mother, she will spend money on what she wants, but mother cheap. Mother don't want to pay $10 shipping no more. That's the only reason I haven't re-up on the Twisty Long Gating Cream. And I love that stuff. That stuff is cracked in a bottle, especially for my mini twist days. Amazing. I just, I, listen, I don't like paying $3.99 for shipping. 
I dang sure ain't finna pay 10. She said this is a styler. I can tell you right now, this is too lightweight for it to be a styler for me. I have a styler that I'm getting ready to use, but that is going to be in the next video. Y'all will see it probably tomorrow or the next day. It's a new gel I'm trying out. And what I do like about pairing that gel with this is this has that amazing slip that will make the gel easier to work with. I just hope that it don't cause flaking or whatever. You know, I got to work that out. But we'll talk about that in the next one. I like this. This is cool. Good job, Whitney. Good job. Bye, y'all.